So Andrew's going to snorkel it, see what's going on, and then we might have to dive, but we're stuck. Oh, the arm is all bent up. Oh my gosh, this is not usable anymore. Yesterday we showed you that our mantis anchor got bent going underneath a what was it a shelf like a rock lava shelf and we put on the Danforth anchor well it dug in we backed up on it really hard and it dug in but at some point just before sunset we dragged about 60 feet we, inside we could hear we could feel thump 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 and it felt like we were dragging but later when we came up we could see that we had dr dragged if you look here that's our original one that we were for a few hours and then we dragged down here and then that's where we are now we stayed up and did watches to make sure we weren't going to drag again and we seem to hold it didn't catch like a mantis would catch like our mantis would catch when we switched around the mantis would grab hold right away again and the Danforth probably doesn't do that with its flat wide end the baby rockna mantis the bait look-alike that we have may hold our boat better and we might have to switch that around on our sail to the next anchorage today but it's it's pretty stressful because now we're not secure when we're anchoring or we don't feel secure when we anchor. Obviously when we dragged with hardly any wind it was lucky we moved from th this uh, other first time first place that we anchored over there it was very close to the shore and I wasn't comfortable with being on a lee shore and really close like that so we moved over here in case I said in case we do drag we can catch it lucky thing because we might have ended up in the rocks there oh the dilemmas of living aboard okay this is where we're at now and you can see the river and there's actually a boat a sailboat we haven't seen anybody in a couple weeks we've been very isolated there's a river here to ride, ride our water bikes up. The other anchorage was too swelly. Even though there was a river, there was way too much swell, self swell. Because we had to put out the other anchor, Andrew's checking to see if it's dug in because our mantis is so bent from that submarine stop and getting hooked on some volcanic rock. If it's not dug in, I guess only one of us will go up the creek and the other one will stay watch on the boat. We have 41 meters out. Andrew's still looking for the anchor. We have a lot out. Well, well, how's that anchor? It's stuck in pretty good. It's a nice silty bottom. It should stick really well. We should be good. Yeah, how is it? The point down in it or? Yeah. What kind of anchor is that down for? It's a Danforth style. I don't think it's a Danforth, but it's a Danforth style or fortress style. So if we have 25 knots of wind, we're going to hold, do you think? Oh, I think so. Just the weight of our chain is going to hold us there. Mr. Pelican here fishing. There's so many fish here. Last night when I came out to check on the anchor, there was so much phosphorescence and schools of fish and they were phosphorescent fish swimming and jumping all over the place. Punta Gorda going up a river on the water bikes. Break down the awkwardness Put on my boots and a lily white dress a million words, but how to express what I'm feeling when I see Is this quarantined enough for you? You flash a smile, I'm like, is this happening? I look your way and then of course drop everything you I don't think this is going to show up on film, but we're going right through hundreds of these green and blue butterflies. The, the sun's going down.
going down, so they're going somewhere. Oh, man. Really pretty butterflies. This is where we are now, right there. There's another boat across from us. Soul Rebel. I think we've seen them before. And this is where we're going to go up here today. Not far away. We're going to come out and go fishing along the shelf and then come back in. Esperito. Esperito. Esperito Santo is where we're going to go. An anchor right in between here. Just got another tuna. Right out of the anchorage of Punta Gorda. Today is Friday, March the 27th. We were hoping for some dinner tonight. The other, the mackerel's in the freezer. I just finished filleting the tuna and threw out the head. And now we have a dolphin visitor. There he is. <laughs> oh, here you come. Oh, missed him. We have made it to Isla del Espiritu Santo Anchorage. And look what we have here. People! Oh, people! We haven't seen people for a long time. We have one, two, three, four, five, six other boats here. And one of them we even know. It's Holly, who we met in Klein Curacao few months ago. So far our Danforth anchor is holding. I hope so because this is where we are. Got a little outcrop of rocks there and we are facing into the wind which usually blows from this way the north and right now we're in a current. A couple knots. And I'm just gonna go polish up the copper at the front of our bows leading edges there in the freezing cold water even he got chilled yesterday in the water diving at the anchor the water's way warmer here is it uh, do we believe him folks no better just watch out because uh, after throwing all that tuna overboard that we caught and ate might have attracted some crocodiles or sharks I think we'll stay here for a couple days. Need a little relaxation after the stress of breaking our anchor again, getting it stuck under lava. 